Hi guys, this is Calera Hudson of Wally Play Designs and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a button loop bind off. And if you take a look at our work here, this is just a way to bind off your stitches that creates these sweet little button loops. And this is just so you can button your garment. And I've done these sweet little uh, pearl buttons here. And those are just going to slide over your little shank buttons. You could also use this with regular uh, two hole or four hole buttons, but you will probably want to include um, more stitches in your loop. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique. And this is actually worked from the wrong side of our work. And I have a smaller piece of knitting here that I'm going to show you this technique on and you can see we're on the wrong side of our work. This is how we're going to be binding off. And this is actually a garter bind off. So we're going to be continuing on with this garter stitch pattern. I found that this just is a little um, nicer. It doesn't fold back on itself as a knitted bind off would. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do for the button loop bind off is we're going to bind off two stitches. So we're going to knit two, insert our needle purl wise into the first stitch and pass that over the second. So that's one bind off and then we're going to knit another stitch and pass the stitch over. So we've bound off two stitches. Now we're ready to create our first button loop. And the way we're going to do this in my instructions, I tell you to slip your stitch from your right hand needle purl wise onto your left hand needle. Okay, and then we're going to knit one, just as you normally would knit. And that's the end of our instruction. And it's going to tell you how many times to do that. And for this particular button loop, we're going to do it three times. So we've done it once. Now we're going to slide purl wise or slip purl wise that stitch back onto our left hand needle and then knit one. So that's two times we've done it. And now this will be the third time. So slip that stitch purl wise back onto the left hand needle and knit one. Now if you take a look here, we've just created a chain. And if you have ever crocheted before, this is just a chain three in crochet work. So we have essentially crocheted without a crochet hook. And in our instructions, it says to bind off, uh, depending on the pattern. I'm just going to bind off six stitches for this little swatch. So basically, leave that stitch, that little loop on your right hand needle and just continue on with your work. Bind off six. So we're going to knit one, pass that stitch over, the second stitch over the first. So that's binding off one two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we're ready to place another button uh, loop. So if you remember the instructions were to slip purl wise the stitch on your right hand needle over to your left and then knit one. So that's one time. We're going to do that a second time. Knit one. And a third time. Okay, so we have that chain three. And then we're going to bind off however many stitches the pattern tells you. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll go ahead and do one more button loop so you guys can see this. Okay, so we're going to slip the stitch from our right hand needle onto our left hand needle purl wise and then knit one. So that's the first. And we're going to do a second time, knit one, and now a third and final time. So slip that stitch from the right hand needle purl wise onto the left hand needle and knit. And then the pattern will tell you how many more stitches to bind off. We'll just bind off the rest of our stitches here in our row. 
okay and I'll just go ahead and cut my yarn so you can see how this bind off looks okay so if you take a look you can see we have these sweet little button loops in our work and for this little swatch I've just created three depending on the pattern it should tell you how many stitches to bind off but this is just about the right size if you look at from the front side of your work for about a quarter inch size uh, shank button so these little pearl buttons this is actually perfect for there we go so you can adjust how many times you do that slip your stitch onto your left hand needle and knit one if you do it fewer times of course you'll have a smaller button loop and if you do it more frequently more repeats of that you will have a larger button loop but that is how we create the button loop bind off and i hope this technique helps you guys out thanks so much for watching